In this video, I'd like to show you everything I did to learn React. I'll show you the tips that I learned to be able to build applications like this, 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 and this. We'll talk about what React is. We'll walk through how to run a React app and go through the basics of React. And finally, I'll show you everything I did from the courses that I followed to the tutorials that I did to learn and master React. So the main question you're probably asking is what the hell is react everyone in their mother uses this and when i was starting out i was so confused on why people loved this framework and in essence react is a javascript framework okay and a framework just makes writing a language easier so in that sense react just makes javascript easier to write and what's special about react is that it is component based so for example, right, in my voice scribe application here, in a regular JavaScript application, everything here will be linked to each other. So let's say I wanted to click on this record button, you know, something will pop up here, but basically the entire app will be impacted by me pressing this button because in JavaScript, everything is linked together in the DOM. On the other hand, React is component based and we'll get into it when we're actually building something, but that simply means that each aspect of this application is is its own piece. This record button over here is different to this nav bar. So another example of this would be, let's say we're on my learning platform that I'm almost done. It's not completely done. And I wanted to go to the roadmap page in a regular JavaScript app. Everything in the entire app will refresh because everything is linked together, right? Because that makes sense. However, in react because it's one part of the application because this nav bar is its own thing it's not connected to this when i go to the roadmap only the roadmap page will refresh and show and the nav bar will change so think of react as different pieces of a puzzle to make up one big application while javascript is just the entire thing like it's one solid block and next up is how do we write react right and i know you're probably saying like okay, i really want to learn it but it's really important to just go through the basics so you understand what it is and understand like the real basics so that we can understand the high level things that we'll get into and to run react all we need to do is go into our vs code folder and the folder is called react and run npx create react app and we can actually just call this let's say youtube youtube that's the app we're calling and it'll take some time to install but this is basically the framework downloading. So we have all the cool features so that we can write React easily and write JavaScript easily. And cool. So everything has been installed. And to go into this, we just need to do CD YouTube and run npm start. This basically starts the React application. And we can see here the boilerplate code for our React app. And if we head into everything here, we can see the examples of how we are displaying this on the page. And if we go to say app.js, we can see edit and then SRC app, as you can see here on the page. So we can just write whatever here. Let's say it's YouTube, as you can see here, YouTube. So let's actually delete everything so we can kind of simplify stuff. Just write hello. And okay, so this may be a little bit confusing to you because, you know, we just ran something to display code rather than just having a folder. So that's maybe a bit confusing to you. But here is a real time example of the main functionalities of React. For example, right, let's say we wanted to create a nav bar in a regular, like, let's say HTML or JavaScript page, we would just write something like nav and have a nav bar here but there's no point to that because we're using react so instead what we can do is that we can make a new file called navbar.js make the function which is from javascript so function navbar and then open that up return div navbar and as you can see here we have the navbar function ready and then in here we can just call the navbar page just like this and it's not defined so we actually have to import nav bar oh oopsie we have to the we have to actually export the nav bar so actually my fault there so if we do this again we imported nav bar and as you can see here we didn't write nav bar here we called it from this nav bar page so we can make our nav bar in here and like in regular html we can do like yo whatever youtube i don't know but you can see we are calling this page 
in the main page of our application and this may be a little bit confusing to you because this is very new but hopefully you kind of understand why we use it not everything will be in one page that's the main idea for bigger applications we want different aspects and let's say we want a nav bar in every page we can just create a nav bar boilerplate code where we can just have our nav bar and display it throughout our whole application rather than redoing it in each page and on top of that it just makes everything easier to manage so let's say we want to update the nav bar we don't have to scroll through hundreds of lines of code we can just go over here and update the nav bar really easily and okay so you're probably saying like okay nazar um now that we know what react is and you probably know what react is and we've covered the basics how do we learn react there are three things that i did to learn and master react so the first thing i did was i headed over to full stack open which is a open source react platform which just teaches you react it will cover absolutely everything you need to learn the theory behind react and also build cool shit so in the uh, curriculum you have the fundamentals of web apps introduction to react communicating to the server just everything okay You're testing react applications um it was one of the best things that i have done in my coding journey and this took me about a month to do and I'll actually show you what we did but let's say introduction right so you want to learn you state you will literally be shown react components react examples and they will tell you to apply this into your own visual studio code application so it's a really cool way to learn the theory and to actually apply stuff and build mini projects so you can learn react and look it's it was very difficult i'm not going to say it was easy it was actually very hard for me to grasp the concept that's what people usually say but once you get the hang of it once you just constantly expose yourself to the react language it becomes a lot easier to do and finishing this full stack open course will allow you to learn react and so once i did full stack open i knew a basic understanding of react but i couldn't build anything like i didn't know much about doing my own thing like i didn't know how to make software that i could sell and stuff like that but i had a general idea of how it worked and here is where i guys i literally just went to youtube looked up react tutorial and I just did three React tutorials. I just went to one video like this, where it's just a React tutorial for beginners. And we just learned and built stuff. Like this guy's building a list, I guess. Let's see the end. But basically, I just followed a React tutorial. So it could be like building a clone of an application. And this one's actually really good. I actually followed this one. You built a to-do list with React. A lot of people actually say not to follow tutorials, but I kind of disagree. I'm all for tutorials, but changing things within it. So in this example, you know, we followed the tutorial of a to-do list, but instead maybe I would change the color. I would change the design. I would maybe add a feature like displaying the time or stuff like that. But following tutorials not only allows you to build stuff quick, but you're learning a lot quicker. You're following good practices with code because generally, you know, they're good practices and it's a really good thing to do because you learn how to really apply React into a project. Again, I followed three projects and after that, although I was still, I was getting a lot better and I was able to build stuff, it allowed me to just build stuff again. Like I know everything because I was able to watch videos, learn tutorials and take what I learned and apply them on my own. And that's what you want. You just want to know how people build stuff so that you can implement it on your own. And the final aspect that I just wanted to cover is it's not something that I did, but rather a mindset that I have is that I just improved every day. I'd say I'm about six or seven months into learning React and I have tried my best to every single day find ways to improve on it. That could be learning some new concept. It could just mean coding in React or trying out a new framework from React or just doing something so that I could get better at it, improve as a developer and overall just understand it more. And look, this is a mindset that I've had with programming as a whole. And if you're just willing to learn a bit every day, have an open mind to learning new concepts and just struggling a bit, learning React is very easy. Coding is like a regular language. And the more you do it, the better you will get at it. It's that simple. And eventually, no matter how bad you are, how dumb you are, if you just sit at your computer, work on something every day, eventually things will come together. You'll get better at it and you will build stuff that you want. It's that simple. You think I build this overnight? No, this took me 
a year of coding, eight months of React work and constant improvement every day so that I could build a search functionality. I could build a courses page. I could build a roadmap. I could display everything. I could make user authentication, sign out functionalities, stuff like that. That came as a result of working towards my goals every single day, be willing to improve and learn new things and eventually get to the point where you are not as bad as you were before. And that's what we're trying to aim at. Again, React is just a way to write JavaScript more easily. It's component based. So you have different aspects of an application. It just makes things easier to write. We did a basic tutorial of how to run React and display stuff. And finally, I learned React by doing full stack opens course, which took me about a month. Three tutorials, which took me, I would say about two or three months, like really good ones and applied them. And finally, I had a good mindset of improving every day, even after tutorials and just when I started building my own projects, I just worked towards my goals every day and found ways to improve. And if you follow these things, I promise you, you will be a React developer in no time. It's impossible to lose if you do these three things. And if you like the video, hit that like button. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.